So let's go open the car and have a look. Where is your OBD2 port? You have to look. Here's the uh, steering wheel and off the right side, there is some cars where are the uh, OBD2 port is detected able. And of course, in the armrest, you can see some OBD2 ports too. And if you're going at the bottom side, um, at your um, levers here, you can see in some cars is the OBD2 port over there or on the top side, like me. Here in this Audi, it is the OBD2 OBD port over there. And in some Ford um, cars, I detected it over here. Okay, so in this case, we are taking the plug and we getting in position the plug. And then, as you can see, let's have a seat. Here, it is now booting. Okay, now the next step is, we have to turn the ignition on, not the engine, on the ignition, okay? So get the key in position and rotate it. Rotate it one time. This is enough because now the energy is power on and this is awesome for us. So let's go. Here we are. Now push a button and we are connecting into the vehicle. That means some protocols are sent um, and shared by using the car electronic and this ankle OBD2 scan protector and it will get some information for us. So let's start first. We can see uh, no codes are detected. Let's go to exit, go to the main menu by using yes. And now you can see in this Sprache, that means uh, language okay let's switch to English and now you can see here you can switch to the contrast up and down here you can see unit or measure English or metric diagnostics let's enter it and now we are reconnecting uh, with this English um, language again and let's have a look what is um, this little device able to do for us. <laughs> I like it really much because it is not so expensive and it can show you so much. And uh, MIE status is off, codes found zero. That means, okay, now you are able to read codes, erase codes, live data, view freeze frame, I am read, um, readiness and vehicle informations and EVAP leak test. So let's go to read codes. Stored codes, mm, let's have a look, nothing. But if you have a code um, on air, you will see them there. Panning codes, it's the same. Let's have a look. Oh, no panning codes, good. If you have some code, you can erase the codes by using this option and then go yes and your um, codes are erased. And this means mm, you have first to fix the problem. After you fixed the problem, you can erase the code and job's done. Now let's go to live data. For this, we have to um, push the clutch and start the engine. Go to neutral, good job. Now you can see um, the machine is running. And here we are. Let's go to live data, enter it and have a look. Here you are able to see what's going on with your car now. You can see the load PCT if I'm pushing um, some gas inside. Let's have a look. It goes up to 43. ECT temperature 44 degrees Celsius. And you can have a look at the next time. Long FT, MAP. That means how much pressure is inside. If I'm going to push the um, the gas lever a little bit, you can see we go up with a kilopascal. And the rounds per minute, this is awesome. 1000 RPM now. And you can see that is right. So these are the live data. There's so more different things you can see and um, have a look what's going on with your car in this second because it's live data okay and so let's go down and out 
let's freeze frame here i am reading some vehicle information turn the key on with engine off this is um, that we are going to do now engine off and now you can see switch the ignition on not the engine again and now let's have a vehicle id number set hey there it is this is right here a calibration id can be verification number and the protocol everything is in this little device eva leak test is available too nice and easy device at the end go to the main menu back good job and you can remove the plug so only get it out and now the job is done everything is fine if you fix the problem before then you can remove the coat immediately and this is cheap it's not so expensive and it is good thing for your diy garage at home so that it is easy to use nice and easy device so thanks for watching please subscribe me and give me positive feedback and see you next time again soon soon